Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to design this home page using Figma. We'll also be adding some interactions and animations over here. So if you hover over this button, we can see we have a little animation over here. And even on the image, we have an animation when we hover over it. And uh, when we click on this magnifier icon, we can see a search box appear over here. And when we click on the close button, it goes back. So this is what we're going to design in this video. So let's get started. Alright, so I have created a new file here in Figma. And uh, first of all, let's go ahead and create a new frame. So we will select MacBook Pro. And before getting started with our design, let's create our color palette. So we will just create a rectangle of uh, 120 width and 120 height and uh, we'll just add our colors over here and we'll also add some border radius all right so let's go over here and uh, choose a fill color so the first color is f f f f f a and we'll also add some box shadow to make it visible Right, so let's duplicate this and uh, for the next color we will set the fill to FF7200 and then we will duplicate it again and uh, for this one we'll set the fill to 01847F and then we'll duplicate these three using Control D and uh, we will bring it down so if you want to move the items in Figma you can press the arrow keys and if you press shift and then press the arrow keys you can move 10 pixels and if you want to see what is the distance between this item over here and this item you can just select one of these items and uh, then press alt and hover over the other item and you can see the distance between this item and the other item so here we have the distance of 91 pixels so let's click shift down arrow and then click up arrow once and so here we have 100 pixels alright so for the next color we will choose 44A1A0 and for the next color we will choose 07393C and for the last one we'll choose a color of 02 one seven one eight alright so this is our color palette so let's just rename this frame to colors we'll also decrease uh, the size and if you want to increase or decrease the width or height of any element you can simply press control and uh, the arrow keys so here we want to have 100 pixels on the right so I'll just press control shift and right arrow and now we have 103 so just press ctrl and uh, left arrow thrice all right so we have our colors set up now let's create another frame for our home page we'll select macbook pro and we'll rename it to home page now the first thing we'll do is create our nav bar so for that we'll create a rectangle and we'll set the height to 72 pixels and we'll stretch it across our uh, frame and uh, we'll also give it a drop shadow so we'll set the blur to 24 pixels and uh, the Y to 8 pixels and uh, we'll reduce the opacity to 10% alright so we will also set the fill color and uh, we will select this color from here now we'll create our logo so the logo is basically uh, just some text so let's go ahead and uh, add a text so we'll just type d dot and the font that I have used is poppins and uh, set the weight to extra bold and we'll set the size to 
64 pixels and we have set it vertically to the center now we will also give it a left margin of 100 pixels so right now it is 48 so we'll just move it on the right All right so we'll also select the color of our text we'll just select this uh, dark color in our color palette so now we'll create some menu items but before that we'll just rename our logo All right now we'll create the menu items so we'll just duplicate this and uh, we will type blog and then we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and the weight to regular all right so we'll duplicate this and uh, place it 100 pixels apart and uh, we'll name it contact and we'll duplicate it once more and we'll say about all right so let's select three of these by pressing shift and we'll click on this icon to align them vertically and we also need a magnifier icon so for that we can use a plugin in figma so if you go to menu and go to plugins and then go to manage plugins you can find a lot of awesome plugins over here so for the icon we'll be using a plugin called material design icons so just right click over here and go to plugins and then click on material design icons and just type something you want over here so we'll type search and click on that and we can see the icon over here we'll just move it to the right over here and uh, we'll just set it 100 pixels apart and then we'll select all these menu items and uh, click on vertically align I think we can just increase the size a little now if you notice this we can see that it is outside our home frame so let's just drag it down to the home frame all right now let's select all of these and we'll group it so right click over here and click on group selection and we'll name this group now items and uh, I think we need to add a little bit more margin to the left over here so we'll just move it to 120 pixels and we'll also give a 120 pixels margin right to this now items as well All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, select three of these and uh, then group these and uh, we will type navigation all right so we have created our navigation now let's create this photo over here so for that we'll create a rectangle and uh, we'll set the height and width to 500 pixels and uh, we'll also give it a box shadow so we'll go to effects and uh, set the box shadow to 48 and 24 and uh, we'll set the opacity to 50 percent so for selecting the photo we can use a plugin called content reel so first you have to install the plugin and then right click over here go to plugins and then click on content reel and then go to avatars and then you can select something from here so here we can see every time we click on this button we get a different avatar so let's select this one for this design now we'll just duplicate this photo by pressing ctrl D and then we'll select one of these and uh, we'll just rotate it a little and uh, we'll remove this image from here and uh, we'll set the fill to a different color so we'll set it to this color over here all right so that's it with our image now let's go ahead and uh, create this headline and uh, this text and this button so before that we'll just rename these layers so for this one we'll just type photo and this is photo bg Alright, so now let's go ahead and create a new text. And 
and uh, we'll just type our heading over here now we will set the weight to bold and we'll set the size to 64 pixels so for the heading we'll set the font to Roboto and we'll just set the color of the text to this color over here and we'll just duplicate this and uh, create the subheading and uh, we'll decrease the font size to 24 pixels and uh, set this uh, weight to regular and we'll type some text over here and let's go ahead and decrease the width of uh, this text and uh, we'll set the line height to 42 pixels and uh, we'll just set the weight of this heading to black all right now we'll set the spacing between these to 24 pixels now we'll create the contact button so we will add a rectangle over here and we'll set the width to 196 pixels and uh, the height to 60 pixels and uh, we'll change the color to this color over here and we'll also create a text and uh, we'll set the color of the text to this white color and we'll also add a little bit of uh, border radius and now we'll select both of these and uh, group it and uh, we will type button and uh, we'll move it up a little now we'll select uh, all of these and uh, we'll move it right here now we need to add some logos down here so we want to have logos of Instagram dribble and Behance so for that we have a plugin in Figma called brand fetch so just install the plugin and go to plugins and uh, then click on brand fetch and you can get logo of pretty much any brand over here so just type instagram.com and we can see this logo of instagram over here so we'll once again go to plugins and uh, brand fetch dribble.com and uh, behance.net we'll have a spacing of 42 pixels in between these but here we can see we have this problem of decimal points we have 46.57 so that is because in Instagram we have the width of 55.43 so let's just change it to 55 All right now we'll set it to 42 pixels and we'll also bring this down and set it to 42 pixels and we'll select all of these align it vertically and uh, we'll also create a group and we'll type social icons now it is outside the home frame so let's bring it down and we'll set a bottom margin of 80 pixels and for the left we want to have 120 pixels now the last thing to do is set this background color and uh, this design over here so let's select the frame and uh, set the fill to this color over here but this feels a little dark for our design so we'll just decrease the opacity to say 50% or maybe 60% and then we'll go ahead and select this color so now we have that color selected and we also have 100% opacity all right now we'll draw these designs so for that we will use the pen tool and we'll just draw something like this and we'll set the fill to this uh, orange color over here and uh, we'll also bring it behind the navigation and we'll remove the stroke and
and we'll select this and uh, reduce the opacity a little and then we'll select this and uh, duplicate it and we'll just increase the size And let's select this photo BG and uh, remove the drop shadow. Alright, so that's basically it with the design of our home page. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the interactions and animations to this home page. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.